Here is the YouTube TV Live Guide before and now the after. If you've watched my channel before, you've heard me talk about the changes that YouTube TV said it would be making to both the Live Guide and the library. Today I have changes to the Live Guide to show you. I've got YouTube TV tuned to my local news. That's why you see Today in Florida at the top of the screen and that's also what is playing in the background. Scroll down and you'll see somewhat of a mini guide, a list of channels, and as you scroll to the right, you'll see that the logos change to still pictures that reflect what is airing on those channels. You'll also see that there is a live bug in the bottom left corner of these thumbnails. I wanna scroll down to the main live guide because this is where I have the major changes to tell you about. Once you get here in the upper left corner, you will see a show description of what's currently airing. This was not available on YouTube TV in the past. And in the upper right corner, you'll see a visual preview of what's airing on that station. As I scroll down in the guide and make it to Good Morning America, look, there is a check mark from the live guide. And the reason is that is something that is added to my library. So this is a way to easily know when something in the live guide is also being recorded. I'm hovering over PBS Kids now, and when you click on anything in the live guide, you are taken directly to the program. And from the live programming, you can still click down to access a mini guide, just like before, or you can return to the main guide by clicking the back button. I've moved back to the top of the guide, and I'm hovering over the CBS logo. When you click on a logo for any of the networks that is to the left of the guide, you will be taken to a page where you can check out programming for that network only. As I scroll up, you can also see the channel filters. These are not new, but they have been expanded in recent years. You've got default, custom, most watched, A to Z, and Z to A. One thing I noted with custom, it is still telling you to go to tv.youtube.com on a computer or use the mobile app to remove and reorder channels from the custom view. I've got a separate video that explains how that works. And to preview shows in advance, still no jump today feature, something that a couple other services have. You have to just scroll to the right to keep going in advance. You can also just use the search function. That may be quicker instead of scrolling through the live guide. But this new live guide does take a few steps forward particularly for people who want more of a cable-like experience. I think YouTube TV and some of these other services underestimated how much people really actually like the user experience with cable. Their problem with cable is the price and the contracts, not the experience.